You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Melissa Rodriguez. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having nice me. Nice to see you. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. Too. So you are doing a brand new, exciting event here in the City of Champions. Uh, it's called, make sure I get it right, Havana Dance Night? Dance Night, that's correct. Okay, and it's going to be at the Shaw Center. No, at the um, War I'm sorry, Memorial. War Memorial. Nope, someone wrote that down, so let me stand corrected. War Memorial, which is a wonderful venue that's been totally restored by the city. And we're looking at the 21st of May, so tons of advance notice on this one, right? Yes. Okay, now, what I know if you think Havana and you think Cuba, and I'm going to be full disclosure here, my dad was born there. Mm -hmm. I don't speak a word of Spanish, but... <laughs> When I was at University of Miami, my favorite place to be was Little Havana because I like the food. <laughs> is there food? There is event? going to be food. We're actually going to have authentic Cuban um, cuisine. We're going to have roasted um, pork. We're going to have rice, mm -hmm. um, yellow bananas, fried bananas. We're going to have yuca with garlic sauce on top of it. And we're also going to have like Cuban appetizers. So you're going to be cooking all night, right? Kind of. Something kind of. like that. Not really. <laughs> Sorry, not really. Okay, now this whole event is to, it's a nonprofit to benefit scholarships, correct? That is correct. Okay, and it is for an organization that has a Brockton chapter, which you're president of, and then there are other chapters. So let me see if I get this right. How's that? I'm going to try it. It's called LULAC, yes, which is cool. But it's League of United Latin American Citizens. Did I get it right? That's correct. Okay, I wrote it down. Now, you and your husband are both involved in yes. it. Yes. Tell us about it. Tell us why you're doing this, why you're involved in the group. I'm, I'm sure you're proud of your heritage, like everybody I know that's from any Latin American country. So. Yes. What's, what, what's the deal? Well, um, LULAC has been around since 1921. My husband and I, we've been involved in Boston for many years now, and we are like live in Brockton. We don't have a Spanish organization in Brockton, so we decided to open a council here in Brockton. Mm -hmm. So um, we want to get in more involved in our community, and we want to get the Spanish organization, the Latino community, to be together and celebrate more, um, more of our culture. So we're going to have... They have flag raisings all the time over at City Hall. The the mayor, different mayors have all done this. So let's see, how many how many Hispanic countries are there? There's more than I can count, oh, correct? There's too many to count. All of, most of South America, <laughs> Spain. Oh yes. Okay. The Caribbean. The Caribbean. Um, great places, very warm, friendly people, beautiful locations. The 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 most I've been able to deal with and get to is Puerto Rico. My, my, my parents bought a timeshare down there years and years ago, and that was about the only place my dad could go. He couldn't go to Cuba, <laughs> and now things are changing, obviously. Exactly. Um, what country are you from originally? I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. And my okay. husband's from Dominican Republic. Okay, there you go. So um, all, all I can tell you is that was what I tell all of my students that I did wrong. I didn't learn <laughs> Spanish. My mother didn't speak Spanish. My father did. And my grandmother would talk Spanish to my father when she didn't want me to know what she was saying. I wish there was a way. Now, is, bringing the group to Brockton, mm -hmm. LULAC to Brockton, what are, what are your plans for the group? What are you hoping to do? Well, we're, the, the event, the fundraiser event is to um, get funds together for scholarships. Mm -hmm. And we also want to do festivals and other activities so we can raise money to help our community out, maybe financially, with schools, with scholarships, and maybe helping, guiding them how to, you know, get jobs and be get more involved in the community to have other people get more involved in our community. Gonna do Spanish classes for someone like of me? Course you, okay. Of course we can. <laughs> gotta, gotta do Spanish classes. So um, bringing the chapter to Brockton, bringing this event to Brockton gives you visibility. Oh, definitely. And this will be actually um, Havana Night's third year, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be my first year with um, the Havana Night Dance. Um, event here in Brockton. So it's always done in Boston, but we decided to bring it here in, Bar in Brockton to get the community more involved. Well, I think you'll have people from the Hispanic community. I think you'll have people from outside the Hispanic community because, I mean, some of the nicest dance is oh, yeah. dan Latin dances. Def definitely. We're also we're going to have a live band. They're going to be playing like typical Spanish salsa. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have people dancing. We're going to have a Cuban guy actually rolling cigars. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Wow. <laughs> a lot yeah, of I saw the cigar 
rolling on the thing. So if people want more information, how would they find out about it, phone number, website, different things like that? Well, actually, they can go onto our website, HavanaKnight.org. Okay. And they can actually purchase their tickets online, and our, my information is also on the website if they want to contact me. Okay. Um, so how, how big, the, 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 you said you brought it from Boston to Brockton. Is the chapter small and you're, you're trying to build it? Yes, I'm actually going to do the, the event with another chapter from Canton. So okay. we're going to, I'm going to unite so we can make the event stronger and bigger. Okay, and I'm sorry I didn't mean to chase away your other guests, but it's a one-person <laughs> deal here. No, that's okay. So, um, uh, she's from the Canton chapter? She, she is. Her name is Je Gina Sierra Nova. Okay, well, it's easy for you to say. I don't think I can <laughs> say that too many times. So, yeah, I'll get it down. My biggest problem, you know how Massachusetts, we have lazy R's? Yes. Well, when you roll your tongue, which I cannot do. <laughs> I took years of speech therapy to get rid of the mass accent, yes. and then I came back. <laughs> the minute I walked in the door, my mother said, Mark. Uh, that was the end. I have an R in my name. It's Mark, yes. but it didn't work. So what are you looking forward to what, with this event and, and getting people involved? Well, I want to see a lot of people there, and I want everybody to come and join and just, you know, learn from our culture, see how fun it is. And I want people to get, you know, to support us and to get more involved in the Spanish community because there's over 9,000 Latinos in Brockton. So mm -hmm. there's plenty of Latinos here in we just want to get more involved in our community. We want to, I don't know what else. You um, want to, you just, yeah. you, you, I, I know what you're <laughs> saying, because in Brockton for years, there was a great Hispanic festival. Exactly. You, you folks were all a presence at summer, the, the, the former summer Sunday in the park, where you had a booth exactly. for every ethnic group. The, the, I, I personally think the nicest thing about Brockton is all the different folks. The that diversity are that there is Because otherwise here. it's boring. It is, it is. I and think. So we're glad to help you promote it. We're going to run this all the way up until the event. Uh, we're going to be there at the event. Uh, some of us will buy tickets and some of us will work. <laughs> I'll probably do a combination of both. Yes, of but course. you and your husband are wonderful people. Thank and We're really you. glad to support it and glad to help you promote it. So yes. anything I missed talking and about? Actually, the event starts from 6 to 12 o'clock. Okay, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. and it's at the War Memorial. Just to remind everybody, so because I, I I looked at the paper that said Shaw's. It's not at the Shaw's Center. I think it's better at the it War is. Memorial. It is. It's going to be, be nice, perfect. and I I love the renovation that they have, and they have like that old fashioned. Um, it's kind of Art Deco. Art look. Tech, yes. It I is. think it's perfect. <laughs> so we're glad to help you promote it. Thanks for doing it. Thank you for having me. Okay, you are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.